see it, taste it, or even smell it, but radon levels could be dangerously high inside your home. So joining me now is Dr. Shaw with Mercy Medical Center in Cedar Rapids. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. So what is radon and why should people be concerned about it? So radon is a gas which is formed uh, in the underground soil, uh, rocks and water. It makes its way into our houses through uh, defects, in the, defects or cracks in the foundation. Uh, radon is dangerous as it is the second leading cause of lung cancer in the U.S. Okay, so what are some of the symptoms that people could look out for if they've maybe been exposed? So uh, people who are exposed to radon do not get any symptoms, uh, which makes testing uh, your homes for radon really critical and crucial. Um, so I would recommend that uh, people who have not tested their homes for radon um, or levels of radon uh, get it tested as soon as possible. How does radon exposure compare to smoking on impacts for the lungs? Uh, so both smoking and radon particles, they uh, deposit inside the lung and they can damage the cells inside the lung, um, eventually leading to conditions such as COPD and uh, lung cancer. Um, smoking actually increases the likelihood of lung cancer from radon about tenfolds, um, an effect that we call synergistic effect. Um, so yeah. Oh, wow. So if you think you have been exposed to radon, what should you do? So uh, if you're a smoker, um, you can meet the criteria for lung cancer screening, uh, which is basically an early CT scan that we do or we offer, uh, depending on uh, the likelihood of developing lung cancer. No such criteria for lung cancer screening has been uh, formulated in uh, patients who are just exposed to radon. But the important thing is to try to test for uh, radon at home and try to mitigate it as soon as possible. Okay, <clears throat> how do people go about testing at their house? So uh, for testing, I would recommend going to uh, the Iowa Department of Public Health uh, uh, hotline for radon. Uh, you will find resources on how to test your home. Uh, and you will also find resources on how to mitigate uh, if there is high levels of radon in your house. Okay, so there's no way to tell if you've been exposed, like no sort of symptom that kind of trigger you to go to the doctor? So unfortunately, no, there is no symptom that can uh, trigger you to, to go to the doctor. As it is, as you said, it's a colorless and uh, an orderless gas. Uh, but if you get your home tested, then you know that you have been exposed for quite, quite some time, uh, as long as you're uh, living in that house. Yeah, definitely important information. I know it's Radon Awareness Month, too. So. Right. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thanks, Dr. Thanks so Shaw. Much. They stay with TV9.